Oh, I'm going to Africa myself, Townsend. You think that's wise, sir? I don't see why not. The doctor's given me a clean bill of health, and we must show the president that Britain takes these negotiations seriously. But two of us from the department, the permanent undersecretary and his deputy. Just the permanent undersecretary, Townsend. You're staying here. With respect, Sir Willoughby, I have drafted our position personally. Oh, quite. And very well, too. So well, in fact, that I shall have no difficulty in handling it. I didn't mean that, of course, sir. Of course you didn't. But we need someone to hold the fort here, to liaise at this end with HMG. With something as delicate and secret as this, our choice is seriously curtailed. You or me? Mm, thank you. Exactly. Our suntan friends will feel very flattered if I go out there and flaunt my decorations at them. With so much at stake, we can't afford to miss a trick or the Russians will be in there like a shot. That's certainly true. Good. Good. <clears throat> then it's all settled then. Sir Willoughby? Sir Morning. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh. oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I had a weird dream. Well, if you scoffed cheese and pickles at midnight, what do you expect? No, it wasn't a nightmare. I dreamed I was awake. And I watched you come, come into the room, looking at me, lying in bed. I could, I could see myself quite clearly, too. Fancy some breakfast. Yeah, I'm ravenous. Right, I'll see what I can do. You want it in bed? Oh, no, thanks. i had enough of being an invalid. What are you fancy doing today? Don't you have to go into work? Work? What work? Helping Roy Martindale play with his toys. Oh, don't knock it. Martindale might be able to help me sort out what's been going on. What do you mean, what's been going on? Well, what's been happening to me? 
You've been ill, you had a breakdown, that's all. No, that's not all. I want to be able to remember all of it. Right now, I can only just see some of it, just pieces. Uh, it'll come back in time when you're ready. I am ready, I want to. Well, but could, could you cope with it? Oh, Martindale could tell me that, couldn't he? No! Hey, what's up? Sorry. Sorry, I just don't think you should get mixed up with Martindale any more than you can help. That's very melodramatic. Yes. Yes, well, I just think some of the things he does can be dangerous. Just don't want you taking any more risks. Not yet a while, anyway. OK. You were standing over there, in my dream. You were standing over there, looking at a picture of Julia. Doesn't matter. It's only a dream. <laughs>